All through November, we've seen uh, the markets very focused on the, uh, the European uh, financial problems, and uh, those haven't gone away. But over the last couple of days, uh, markets certainly haven't been focusing on them. And after nearly a month of share markets declining and the US dollar strengthening, we've seen the opposite occur. Uh, in the last two days, we've seen a pretty decent share market rally, both in the US and around the world. And the, uh, the US dollar has uh, weakened somewhat and in turn, currencies such as ourselves and Australia have strengthened against the, the US dollar. Now those European problems are, uh, are certainly still there, but for now the market seems more comfortable to focus on some reasonable data that's coming out of the States and that's spurring the mood at the moment. Overnight there are a couple of focuses. Firstly, uh, in the States there was uh, reasonable data out there, uh, retail sales and housing data is, uh, is, is okay and that's uh, spurring the mood. We've got non-farm payrolls coming out tonight. That'll be the major release, and that'll be the big focus to set the, uh, the theme for, uh, for next week. But now uh, the mood seems to be reasonably, reasonably positive. Across in Europe, there are a couple of things taking place. Uh, the most important was the European Central Bank meeting. Now the uh, ECB has kept interest rates on hold as expected, but they're certainly not doing as much as the, uh, as the US Federal Reserve is in terms of uh, trying to stimulate the economy. Some people were thinking they may announce uh, bond purchases programs or other methods for uh, supporting the economy, uh, but they did no such thing, although they are extending uh, liquidity facilities to the market and, and really doing quite a bit to keep the economy going well. So in this reasonably positive global mood, we've seen the usual things happen. Shares are rallying and the New Zealand dollar's strengthened. We're back up to around 75.5 cents against the US dollar. The Australian dollar's performed uh, a little bit better. It's been strengthening too. So that's seen us ease on that cross rate against the Aussie dollar. We're down to around 77.3 cents against the, uh, the Aussie dollar right now. In terms of commodities, a little bit mixed. Uh, gold prices have pulled back, but they are at extremely high levels. But as the, the market starts to get a little bit more confident that global growth is going to continue, we've seen oil prices uh, steadily creep up and that's what happened overnight.